Welcome to the introduction video of our biceps tendinopathy resource page. So in this we're going to go through um, what bicep tendinopathy is, what it, what it kind of will feel like to you, how we can help in the clinic, uh, and then in the next few videos we're going to bring out some different phases of exercises and rehabilitation that you can do at home as well as some acupuncture. So first of all, what is bicep tendinopathy? So, Biceps tendinopathy is the inflammation of the tendon, usually at the proximal head of the bicep. So usually it's, the, it's basically the tendon up here that's inflamed and um, deteriorated. Um, how that happens usually is either um, as a primary condition, so if you're working a lot or doing a bit of physical work and doing a lot of lifting or you know moving things like that, that could bring, bring it on. Or if you're playing a lot of sport and doing a lot of overhead, like maybe serving a lot in tennis, that can kind of bring on a bit of inflammation, a bit more stress through that biceps tendon. Uh, but more commonly, it actually comes as a shoulder rotator cuff uh, issue um, causing, causing that as a secondary condition. So often the muscles in the rotator cuffs are imbalanced, um, putting the shoulder in the kind of wrong position, um, and that's putting extra stress through that, that biceps tendon who's taking the brunt of it, uh, then causing more inflammation in the front. So um, in the next video we're gonna put out, um, is gonna tell us kind of how we differentiate between those, and there's also another resource page we have on shoulder impingement, which uh, biceps tendinopathy and shoulder impingement often come together. So. It's often best to come in, uh, see a health professional so we know exactly what's going on. But in the clinic here, how we would treat it is uh, at first in that kind of inflamed, uh, quite acute and painful painful period, we would, we would want to use what's called distal acupuncture. So all that is is basically the needles will be distanced or away from the area in the bicep. So the reason for that is first of all, if we put needles uh, in or around the bicep, the bicep tendon, it's already really inflamed. It's possible that we can make it even worse and set you back even further. So what we want to do is use the distal needles in your feet, arms, uh, legs, you know, hands, that kind of thing, and basically use those to tell your mind and your body to kind of open up the, uh, the blood vessels into this area, start the healing process, and kind of start loosening up those muscles. And in a couple of weeks, you know, if we've got you feeling a little bit better, we may consider doing some local needles uh, in the area just to kind of help stimulate that blood supply in there and then also break up any of that tight tissue that may be remaining. So that's also a possibility down the track. Uh, in the next few videos on this page, we're also gonna come out with a few phases, um, kind of stages on what exercises you can be doing at home to help with your recovery. So that's just a little introduction. Hope that helps and uh, keep your eye on our, on our page. Thanks.